Hello, my name is Doug, and I'm here today to introduce you to Business Objects, a robust new reporting tool. Business Objects gives each PT user the power to utilize standard public reports that can be used across the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. In addition, Business Objects gives us the ability to create custom reports to support any of our local P2 reporting requirements. A key advantage of utilizing Business Objects for reporting is that it enhances decision-making by ensuring that all districts and divisions will be using the same reports designed to common standards, which include the most relevant and factual data. Within Business Objects, users are able to share information among districts, divisions, and at the headquarter level. We also have the ability to save reports as Excel or PDF files to be shared with team members, customers, and other outside authorities. Prior to Business Objects, I would need to gather data from various databases and manually enter the information into other applications, such as Excel or Access. This was not ideal because it created an environment where mistakes could be made while the data was being transferred, interpreted, and manipulated. With business objects, everyone will be pulling P2 data from the same source, the Enterprise Data Warehouse, or EDW. The EDW is a consolidated data source or repository, which includes not only P2 data, but also data from other systems, such as CFMs and RMS. It's intended to be the single source for all USACE analytical reporting. Now, the EDW replaces functionality provided by the P2 Reports Copy Database, and it provides a significant advancement in data accessibility. The P2 National Team's Database Administrators, or DBAs, have already created the universes that will enable all of us to run standard reports, as well as providing us with the tools to create our own tailored reports in business objects. I find business objects very easy to navigate. Once I log in, the left navigation pane displays the different document storage areas that are available to me. My folders is a catalog of all the reports that I have chosen to save for my own personal use. The favorites folder contains all of the reports that I have created and customized. My inbox is a catalog of reports that other business objects users have sent to me. I can also add new folders to help keep my reports organized. Public folders displays a catalog of all the corporate reports that I am authorized to access in business objects. These have been created and published by the DBAs. Many corporate reports that were located on the PMBP portal will be converted and you will be able to access them through the Business Objects public folder. Let me show you how easy it is to run a standard report. All you need to do is click on the appropriate folder in the left navigation pane and click on the report to view the results. If you are a more advanced user, and would like to modify an existing report or create your own, Business Objects has a tool called Web Intelligence to assist you. Web Intelligence provides you with the ability to easily analyze the project data that matters to you. It puts the organization's data into basic business terms so that you can create queries to build custom reports using terminology that you are familiar with such as project number, work item, and budget amount. Web Intelligence also gives you the ability to further customize the report using various charts and tables. The P2 National Team has been working hard to provide you with the most advanced software tools available. Additional information can be found in the P2 training website, which can be accessed from the PMBP portal. Thank you for joining this presentation. It's been a pleasure talking to you about Business Objects, one of the exciting new features of P2.